welcome welcome thank you guys for joining me here live once again this week at the royal sit down i'm your host zyla royals and on this episode we're gonna be talking about how you can manifest the partner or the guy of your dream so sit down and relax and shit enjoy this episode So most of you guys were, um, I had posted in the group, right, that um, I would tell you guys how to manifest the God of your dreams, but you don't like me. Oh my goodness. Boy, I tell you, my group members was like, sis, you being petty. You is being extra petty right now. Spill the beans. I mean, I was getting on my ass. It was so funny because, y'all, yesterday, yesterday, yeah, I was being a little petty, though. I was. But I had so much fun in that post. And it just made me want to do a, um, it made me want to do a podcast. So, um, actually, the real reason why I had posted that post was because, number one, this lady on Facebook, I had seen the post, and you guys may have seen it too. She posted uh, that she drew a picture of a guy coming out of the picture giving her a kiss. So I was actually in another group, and I do like this group. And if she ever gave me permission to shout her group out, I would. But um, the admin is a, um, I believe she's Jamaican, but she is so freaking nice. And her group is just so warm and authentic. So she posted the uh, rest of the details about how this lady used her drawing to manifest the guy of her dreams. So it went a little bit like this. So the lady said that she drew the guy. He has dreads, everything. She drew him the way I guess she wanted him to look. So she said that when she finished the drawing, it was about maybe like 3.30 a.m., okay? So she said she kissed the drawing goodnight and, you know, everything like that. So I guess she was just putting it into her head that, hey, you know, like she actually believed what she was doing you know what i'm saying she kissed the drawing good night and i guess she was feeding that drawing energy because you know come to find out guys she actually manifested the guy i'm gonna post it in my group i'm gonna post it in my group if you guys are not in my group love and who do please please join okay fill out the questionnaire and get in so you can always have access to Zyla and the juicy news that we be spreading in our group. It's all love in my group, by the way. So I just want to give you guys a little pointers on how you can manifest the guy of your dreams. Now, what I did to manifest the guy of my dreams, I simply petitioned Isis, actually. I went to Isis um, and I asked her, And I wrote down on a piece of paper, guys, what kind of man I wanted. Let me tell you guys something. It is not, you know, I guess my ladies or they thought that it was going to be just some really big, huge secret. But it's really not. It's really just the art of manifestation and the art of law of attraction. If you want to attract a guy, you have to put what it is you're looking for. Now, A few people say, well, I already got the man of my dreams. And that's wonderful. That's wonderful. But we all did it one way by what? The law of attraction. So what I wanted in a partner was I wanted a healthy partner. And I'm talking about somebody who is emotionally stable. Now, I let Isis know that that was really important to me to have a man that was emotionally stable, healthy. I want a healthy love life with a healthy partner who's going to give me healthy, pure love. I put that in there. I definitely told her not that I want it, but I simply told her that I desired a healthy relationship with a healthy heterosexual man i did not forget to leave that he must be heterosexual and guys i have no nothing against any guys that are bisexual 
or um, any guys that um, are homosexual. I have nothing against you, but me, I would like for my man to only be interested in vagina. Y'all know I was about to say pussy, but let me stop. <laughs> Y'all know how Zyla get down. But honestly, I just, you know, I put that in there. And then I also let Isis uh, know that I want a man that will want to understand me. A man that is going to take time out to say, I want to understand you. I also told Isis that I want a man that is financially stable. Don't forget that, ladies. Now, while y'all sitting up here talking about manifesting the guy of your dreams and you've manifested the guy of your dreams, make sure that you include you want him to have money because you don't want to manifest the guy of your dreams and y'all broke. That means that you didn't do you didn't cover all corners. When it comes down to, you know, casting spells or manifesting, because that's what spells actually are. It's the art of manifestation. When you, um, you want to cover every single aspect, you know? So, um, I definitely put that in there. I want him to be able to make money. Um, I put the fact in there that I do want this man to be five years older than me. I said, Isis, I cannot deal with no man that's younger than me. I would definitely desire a guy that is five years older than me. Yes, I want this man to be tall. I told her how I wanted him to look, you know, and I worked on this for a few weeks, actually. But honestly, honestly, in my heart, I desire a man that's going to love me purely. A man that's going to understand me, that wants to understand me. And I told Isis, I say, now, I know that these men are not perfect. I know people been through stuff, but I want a man that wants to heal. I don't want a man that's going to hoard that anger in and then take it out on me because he don't know how to deal with it. Oh, no, 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 no. I definitely let Isis know that I don't want no um, uh, a man like that. That's a little boy. I said, Isis, I need a man. Because people go through things. By the time your, your God has came to you or your man has came to you, your king has came to you, you don't know what he's been through. But the only thing I ask is that you know how to deal with those problems. How do you deal with what it is you're going through? That's the type of man I desire. A man that's not going to yell and holler and scream. I let her know that I desire a man that's going to talk to me. I want a man that is not going to want to fight. I don't want no angry man who's been hurt and, and he just want to hurt everybody else around him. I let her know that. So when you are manifesting the guy of your dreams, you have to include every single thing you desire. Now, let me tell you something. Don't go off the grid. You want a, a Fortune 500 guy. Are you, a, are you a Fortune 500 type of lady? Are you a Fortune 500 type of man? Because if you are a Fortune 500 type of person, then yes, go for it. But if you're in the state where you're, you're struggling and you barely can make ends meet, honestly, you will not inquire, you will not get a Fortune 500 man. But what you can manifest a little bit more easier until you get to that 500 Fortune dollar man is to start off with stepping stones. I want to manifest a guy that will uplift me. Things like that matters when, when you're manifesting the guy of your dreams. You want a man that's going to treat you right, don't you? You want a man that is going to respect you. No matter how mad he gets with you, he respects you. And that is the honest truth. I asked Isis, I, I need, well, me personally, I told myself I need, but you know, in Isis, I say, Isis, I desire, I, we, I require a guy that will respect me, respect my space, respect my mind, respect my children. Because the same type of energy that I want to give to my partner is the same type of energy I need him to give back to me. I don't want to feel robbed in my relationship and that is really important when manifesting a person if you if you wanted to take this 
because really honestly i didn't light any candles to manifest this guy i just simply told the universe i just simply told the universe what it is i desired in a partner and do y'all know that i believe that i've encountered this person seriously this is this period for me alone is a magical experience because now I'm able to sit here and say, hey, guys, it works. I tested it out. The angels have shown me this works. So now I'm here talking about it because I'm like, this lady drew her partner. Think about it, ladies. Just imagine if you could draw the man of your dreams. Think about this, ladies. I'm, l let me give you a little ritual. Let me give you a little hint, hint. If you are a creative woman, creative man, and I feel so sorry that I haven't catered to my guys and I need to cater to those guys. But you can definitely take this information and, you know, and make it your own guys. But I'm going to definitely make a show that's catered to nothing but men, just you guys. So if you want hint, hint to turn this into a ritual, if you're a creative person, you can draw, you can write, uh, maybe you can sew a doll up, make a doll of the guy that you want to manifest. And you take things that you want this partner to, to, to have, like, you know, you may want this partner to have just to let the universe, just to know that this is your particular partner. You put little things in it that you want, like you want him to have a lisp. Or you want him to have dreads. Or you want him, in my case, he must be five years older than me for me to just say, oh, all right. That's one thing. That's one flag. <clears throat> I said, I want my guy to be five years older than me and tall. Hint, hint. So if you are able to make a doll or make something that can help you see what it is, you're looking for then there you go there you have it you have literally manifested the guy of your dreams and sometimes it takes us time i took my time i wasn't rushing into anything with nobody be sure to take your time because let me tell y'all something i'm gonna tell y'all the truth La uh, two years ago, I felt like, again, I felt like I manifested the guy of my dreams because that was my ex-boyfriend. <clears throat> and at the time, y'all, I felt like, oh, yes, I manifested you. That's why I love you. That's why I want you because I manifested you. But all the while, this man was tormenting me. I literally manifested the wrong fucking person. My let me tell y'all, my stupid ass. I'm just going to be honest with y'all right now. Honest, honest truth. My stupid ass said, I want a guy that's going to uh, be on. Uh, this This guy's going to fuck me good. And he's going to be really possessive over me. He's going to be really obsessed. I really want a guy that's obsessed with me and fuck me good. And um, what else did I say? I said some other some other stuff too i just want i and i don't want to say what that is but do y'all know that my stupid ass got this man do y'all know that i manifested this stupid ass person and i'm telling you the worst thing i ever done in my life i say zyla how the hell but then y'all that's why i <clears throat> i say this if you want something change your mind frame because whatever it is you are going through is because you is because of you. It's not because of him. It's not because of her. It's not because of your mom. It's because of you manifested this. So if your man is cheating on you and treating you bad and dogging you out, you ask for this. You manifest this and you are allowing it to still manifest. So if you want that to end, Cut that guy loose because that's your old mind frame. If you're with a partner, that part, you and that partner share the same values. Birds of a feather flock together. So you need to get yourself out of that situation by changing the way you think. 
If you simply change the way you think, then you will know, hey, you'll manifest you a, a guy. The, the universe will align you with that person. Now, your, your life is actually aligned with your thoughts. And I can vouch for that. If you sit up here and you say, well, you know what, Zyla? I want my guy to respect me, to love me, to honor me and cherish me. Okay, now that's a good person. Now, do you have a certain way you want him to look? No, Zyla, I don't want him to look no kind of way. Now, in that case, that means you're asking the universe for it. That's a lot of men. Honestly, let me tell y'all something. Do y'all know how many men that will love, honor, and respect you? Let me tell y'all something. I was talking to one of my friends, and I told my friends back in my day, well, now that I'm still manifesting or however you want to say it, when I was um, in the stage of manifesting my partner that I wanted to be with, I told this guy, I say, oh, no, I want to, I desire a man that believes that the sun uh, rises and sets on my ass. That man told me, oh, no, you ain't going to never find no man like that. I say, really? Oh, no, unless he a pussy. Excuse my French. That's why I'm going to put ex uh, this is very explicit. Yeah, unless you want you a sucker. I, I say, well, maybe that's, the, maybe that's the kind of man I need to love. Maybe that's the kind of man I need to give my love to. A sucker, if that's what you want to call him, but I'm not going to call him a sucker. He's a god to me. If any man that believes that the sun rises and sets on my ass, it's because he is my god. That's just it. You may call him a sucker, but I call him a god because he knows how to treat a woman. And I'm going to think that the sun rises and sets on his ass. Oh, yes. And do y'all think that I still talk to this individual right now? No, I do not. You are not a God. If you don't believe that your woman is the apple of your eye, then I can't be with you. I don't want to manifest no man that is going to put me underneath him. I don't want to manifest no man that is going to believe that him treating me right and loving me as a woman is a sucker move. So what I do? change my mind frame that's why i'm happy and sis and 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 bro if you want to be happy with your person don't change them they're not going to change change you so you can go be with somebody that's going to give you what you want i'm not about to sit there and work on no broke car i'm not gonna buy a car that's already mechanically messed up what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sell this car and go get me another one don't y'all do that anyway? So the rule applies to your partner. Now, if you're married, then you know you have to take the necessary steps. But if y'all not married, don't hold on to these people. Don't hold on to them. Let them go so you can be happy and manifest a guy of your dreams. It's just that simple. Write it down on a piece of paper. I desire a guy that will make me laugh every day. I desire a guy that will say, you know what, baby? I understand where you're coming from. Because I'm going to tell him, you know what, baby? I understand where you're coming from. And I want my partner to say, well, since we both understand where each other's coming from, what do we do? And then now we have a solution. I don't want no man that we going back and forth. We don't have no solution. Mm -mm. I want a guy that's, hey, we can talk about this. And I say, you know what? A lot of the men... You know what I'm saying? They they um they want love too. And I said, I want a guy that wants to heal. I actually said that I do want a guy. I wanted a guy that kind of been through something with a woman that that then seen hurt and know how it feels to be hurt so I can love him. I have no shame in in want in that. I feel like I am a healer. I literally told Isis, I want a man that is going to want to heal because I want to heal. I can heal him and he can heal me because I've been through some things. So I want him to give me love. And I know he's been through some things, so I'm going to give him love. I just want me and my husband, me and my God to be in love with each other. I just want old fashioned love that 
42 years y'all been together type of love. That if when my husband pass away, I'm not too far behind him type of love. That's what I want. Seriously. I do not want nobody that's going to lower my vibrations, my frequency, and my energy. I told Isis this. Me and Isis had a long conversation of the guy that I wanted. Uh, I said conversation. <laughs> Me and her had a long conversation of the guy that I wanted. And honestly, I've been patiently waiting. I've been patiently waiting. I've had some guys that came in and I knew that them wasn't the ones. I say, you ain't the one. You ain't the one. You ain't the one. Eureka. I think that's the one right there. So, you know, it's not, it's, it's actually, it, to me, mind things are not hard. You know, like I am infatuated with like uh, controlling my mind. You know what I'm saying? I am infatuated with, you know, being able to cast these spells and get what it is I manifest. I'm infatuated with um, not being addicted to certain things or being able to do certain things and not get addicted. I'm infatuated with controlling my thoughts and everything. So if you can control your mind, which you can, it is your mind. Why you don't have control over your own something that, that you've been having since day one? If you can control your own mind and your own thought process, then you can manifest the guy of your dreams. If you guys enjoyed this show, which I hope you did, let me know. Tune in because I'm going to start posting often. I love you guys and peace out.